Hey guys, Cloud of Crash here with some more Hearthstone. Uh, this time, I'm gonna do an arena on the Warrior class. I went to do this video and I lost the audio for it as well. Uh, so I will try and show as much of the deck building as possible. And then show you some highlights and um, basically the ending of the game so you can see how they went. So here, I'll just kind of speed through the uh, the card pick here, and you guys can see what I pick. And mostly, what I was doing was uh, I was trying to go for the uh, the strategy where I pick cards that, if they take damage. Um, they gain benefits from that. Um, like Battle Rage there I picked because I wanted to gain the benefit of drawing cards for every card that had taken damage. So basically I wanted to get Whirlwind. It turns out that I wasn't able to get it, but I did get some good cards. And I did enjoy this deck. So I'll speed through these and we'll get right into the first game. So in this first game, I uh, did play a mage, and it goes pretty fast, like I think we're about maybe five minutes into it, and there's not much left in it. So I clear the board out, and I put out the abomination, so if she kills it, she's going to take two damage. I've got three extra armor, so she's probably going to kill it. takes the damage. Oh, there's shield block. That's my favorite card. Swear to God. Love it. For three, I get five armor and draw a card. I pulled the Arcanite Reaper for five. And it enabled me to play my pirate for free. I hit her for five, and I got the taunt. So she's down to nine, I believe. He's gonna sheep that and kill it. Now my next turn, I get a charge. She's at nine, four, five. She's dead. And that's how the first game went. So in the second game, I actually played a different mage. And at some point I pulled Inisera in my hand. I 
So I decided to go ahead and play that card. It's probably my favorite uh, legendary. I don't have it, obviously, because I don't have the kind of... I don't have the kind of investment that it takes to get those kind of cards. And instantly it gets cheap, but I do get at least that one dream card on Awaken, I believe it was. Deals 5 damage to every character except the Sarah for 2 mana. It's a pretty awesome card. And with me being at 32, basically, um, it's gonna wipe the board. I'm gonna play the slam trying to get oh no I guess you could play it directly into him play the Sarah awaken kill her whole board and then play the same combo that I did the last time the Arcanine Reaper plus the three pirate hit her for five and she's down to nine I've got at least eight on the board and I'm sitting pretty good. She's probably just thinking over like, wow, that was a big play. She's got a lot of ground to make up after that. And she, she plays Deathwing, destroys her hand, But I still have five damage on the board. And I can play my my gnome twice. With the uh Pandaren. Drink with me, friend. Yes, me and Mr. Right. I think that's actually what saved me here. Um, was being able to put out so many of those minions. Yeah, Deathwing's rather intimidating, but he can only kill one, and she can only fireball one. Which leaves me with enough damage to kill her next turn. Attend me. Ready, sir. And she doesn't pull a taunt, so it's basically over. Well played. And that's the game. In my third game, I play a shaman, and he basically rules the board. As you can see, he's up with quite a lot of health. He's got the entire board covered. You know, full full onslaught of seven. I, I'm able to kill one, a couple here and there. Not sure who to slam. Like I was hoping to slam the, uh, the stealth character, but I can't. Shields up. So I'll probably be able to stay alive one more turn, but after that, it looks like it's gonna be pretty hard, depending on what I what I actually uh, get out of my deck.
So I think here he decides to give me another turn for some reason, not sure why. So I don't pull anything. I've got Nisera in my hand. So I go ahead and play her. It gives me Dream. Which wouldn't have helped me anyways. So that's pretty much over. I don't have any taunt. There's nothing I can do. Just waiting for him to move. And there's that. Squish a few more plants. Call it a day. In this game, I play um, a druid, and we're pretty evenly matched, about the same health. Your magic shall not save you. And he silences my abomination, and looks like he's gonna kill me too. Starfire, Starfire, all right. And that should end his turn, I believe. And I pull a Sarah again. This card is just creeping up into my deck constantly. So I did the death rattle for that guy. Slam him. And put out a Sarah. Actually, I believe that was that cute, not Slam. Excuse me. And I get a Sarah Awakens. So, I believe he has 11 health with his armor, and I am sitting at 13. If I can play that, uh,. That taunt card that creates taunts on both sides, that'd be great. My suggestion to him would be to naturalize. So he hits me for three. Mind you, he still has ten mana. Yep. He uh, silences her. And then hits me directly. He could have killed my minion, but he decided not to. I think that was a, that was a mistake. So I do. I should do a Sarah awaken, or maybe I'm slam. I get a card. There awakens, everything dies. But... And then I hit him for eight, which kills him. Oh. So, leave. Let's see. Yep, I'm three and one now. This day. Doing pretty well. So in this game, I'm playing a Paladin, and pretty evenly matched as far as, um, he's kind of taking control of the field, but I've got, I've got utility and, um, more health. takes out my one creature. I don't have anything else in my hands. 
buffs that guy, and I'm looking at quite a bit of damage this turn. Reporting for duty. Further about this. Nope. He's just gonna go ahead and attack me. If I pull a slam, not much I can do with that. Um, probably just armor up. Looks like I'm gonna go ahead and try and get rid of his bigger creature. He's got board control. Lots of options. Blessings of King. Blessing of Kings on that guy. And hit me for eight. Yep, and that's the game. Avenging Wrath. Pretty dangerous card. Put in the spell power deck and it man. Anyway. Okay. Playing another druid deck, and he's got two iron bark protectors, which are huge 8 8 taunt creatures. I've got pretty much board control, but we're even on life. But so with this two out there, it's just insanely hard for me to get anything done. All I just gotta do is put like a. I don't know what it's called, healing touch or something. And just heal him up. And so he ends up with four creatures here. Hits me for eight. Now I'm down to eleven. And all I've got is an armor smith. Nothing else in my hand. I armor up. I can get rid of that guy. No. I can't even do that. Never mind. Yep, and that's pretty much the end of the game. All based on card draw there. And that's the end of the warrior deck. Um, I really enjoyed this playthrough. And I intend on doing highlight on warrior decks in general. I do like the warrior deck. Here, I will show you my prizes. Do your five. And five dust. Five gold. Five more dust. Pack of cards. And 15 more dust. You have 45 dust, five gold, and pack of cards. For this pack, it's one rare and four commons. So she puts out a 2 2 weapon, that's pretty cool. Uh, silence for Priest. Another Priest card. Another Priest card, Light Spawn. And a Warlock card, the Fell Guard. Awesome. Maybe I'll put that in my uh, my new deck I'm making. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy.